Hey y'all, it's Denise. Today's Wednesday and I hope y'all are having a great day. Um, I've been uh, out of it lately. <laughs> uh, I've ha I have lupus and I had a bit of a flare up and uh, just wasn't able to do much of anything except rest. I wasn't able to craft. Uh, all I did was basically watch a few videos, but the prednisone is working and I feel a whole lot better. So I'm really itching to get back uh, crafting and I have a lot to do. But I wanted to uh, thank uh, Gina from Gina Loves to Craft and Sheila from Country Girl First. Um, they gave me some beautiful, beautiful gifts. And uh, Gina, you can go back and watch her uh, D-Stash video on uh, all of her letters and numbers that she uh, sold. And uh, these are just fabulous. Look at this, they're so glittery. Here's the silver. Here's the gold. I mean, these are just going to come in so handy. I won't have to pull out my die cut machine and have cut out each letter. I mean, look at this. There's just every shade. Here's numbers. Just gorgeous, sparkly gorgeousness. Uh, there's capital. There's lowercase. There's different colors, different sizes. Look at these. I'll get my paper out so you can see it better. Look at these. These are puffy. And these colors are perfect for spring or Easter. I just love these. Absolutely love them. So thank you, Gina. And let's see. Here's more puffy in the gold, lowercase. Just gorgeous. I've already dug into some of them, Gina. I couldn't wait. And then here's some uh, like chipboard pieces love these look at that look at the size very nice I love the colors there's some pink bling more chipboard for Christmas gorgeous and these I brought oh, here's one that's missing I'll just have to put it on here and put it and find the right place to put it uh, these I've already dug into for uh, my daughter's project I was making these are great I love the size these sizes are perfect and more chipboard, nice colors. There's just so many of them. I mean, I'm, I'm good to go with uh, letters and numbers. And look at this, this one's beautiful. So pretty. There's just so many of them. And then these, perfect, just perfect. Look at that, look how many. I mean, these are handy. I won't have to die cut anything for a while. Oh, and oh, look at this. Look how pretty that is. Look at that font. Get up here. See, I'm hoping you're able to see this. I'm sorry about that. These I love. They're gorgeous. Okay. And, oh, here's another one of my favorites. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. These are just Look at that. Look at the bling. And I mean, they are sparkly. Sparkly. Oh, I can't wait to use these. They're just glamorous. I'm going to put them on a purse for sure. I'll probably make Amy one for her birthday. She loves my purses. She has every size you can imagine. Little teeny ones, big ones. I keep her uh, purses made all the time. And there's those pretty I love so much. I can't go through every one of them, y'all. This will take forever, but look at that. Just, oh my goodness. Oh boy. Oh, am I filming this right? I can't tell what I'm doing here. Sorry about that. And then in the, uh, these are, I'm sorry, silver. Yep, yeah, more silver. Look at the different fonts. Oh boy. And then a larger size, the capitals. Look at that get this lower so you can see it and look how many of them wow oh pretty gold oh I love that I missed that one and then more puffy these are precious Gina thank you look at that oh and this one the white they're puffy also that is gorgeous and then more chipboard pink Perfect. Blues and greens. 
I'm trying to hurry up, y'all. There's a few things I want to show you today. And then uh, these colors. Look at these bright, vibrant colors. Let me see. Put it up against here so you could see it better. That's really nice. They're puffy. Nice size. Okay. And... And these, uh, I love these because, uh, you know, we make cards for kids and I do not have a lot of uh, uh, stamps or dies or anything for kids or papers for that matter. And uh, so these are really, this will come in handy. You know, we make kids cards all the time. And then uh, these are gorgeous. This mint green puffy. I love that color. That is beautiful. Am I doing this right, y'all? Let's see. Gina had told me, why don't I turn my camera sideways? And I said, oh, really? I said, oh, wow. I thought if I turned it sideways, the video would be sideways. So <laughs> I'm learning all this stuff. So if y'all see me doing something wrong, tell me. So I learn. I'll know what to do. So I hope this comes out. I'm anxious to see it. And then these are the cutest little stickers. They're teeny tiny. They're little dresses and high heels and hearts and makeup. Hope you can see it. They're really small, but they're so cute. That's gonna make such a cute little embellishment on a card or something. I love that. And uh, these little teeny tiny little butterfly stickers, Suzanne, I thought about you right away. They're so little and so cute. And then these, of course. Look at that. Because, you know, it happens. It happens. So, I'm going to use those. They'll be funny. And uh, I just wanted to share with you uh, another way you can get your letters if you're interested. I bought this a uh, while back from uh, Amazon. And I, it does not say the manufacturer's name, and I cannot remember. But I just typed in Alphabet Punch. Uh, I think Alphabet Punches. Well, if I can get this open, let's see. What the heck? There we go. And um, it's got this little handle thing, and it's got all your letters. Yeah, all your letters. So you just take, uh, I'll just take this. You insert it. Line it up with this little line right here, and the little punch has a line. You just, whoop, this way. There we go. Match it up. Put your paper in. And just punch it out. And this is what the font looks like. They're, they're small. They're very small. You can see my finger. It's very small. And it's kind of whimsical looking, but I like it. I think it's a real cute little font. So I, I, I really like this. I've used it a few times. So anyway, if you're interested, just type in alphabet punches. And I got the whole uh, set. I don't even remember what it cost, y'all. I'm real sorry about that. But I do like it. So, Gina, thank you so much. This is just going to help me out so much. I, it's just going to make card making so much easier. Boxes or bags or whatever. I mean, how nice is that to put somebody's name on it or spell out happy birthday or something? Gina, thank you. I really appreciate it. And Sheila, oh my goodness, oh boy. And I have to know, y'all, where are you getting these little coins? Uh, and what are they called exactly? Uh, that is so cute. I just love that. I love it. And she's got it on a little clip right here. That is the cutest idea. I just love it. Look at that for you. Look how pretty that is. And then here's her card, y'all. I mean, look at that. Wow. Anything I get from Sheila is just, there's the, I'm sorry, this is the envelope, the envelope, sorry about that. Anything I get from Sheila is just so precious to me. Look at the butterfly, she's triple layered, triple layered. Look at that, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, how pretty on the holographic and then put the sticker on and then another sticker and oh boy, that's cute, Sheila. Got another little one of these coins. What are they called? I don't know. They're really cute, though. Y'all tell me what that is. That is beautiful. Look at that envelope. It is beautiful. And she made me a little card. Left me a message. Hello. Look at that little card. Look how pretty that is. It's got the little chipboard stickers on there and another little butterfly. Look at that. I just love it. Thank you, Sheila. 
everything you send me is just just precious I just it's just precious left me a little mint oh, oh oh wow oh i didn't even notice this oh my goodness sheila i can use this card oh wow live for today laugh often oh oh wow oh that's right now you see i'm so out of it y'all I've, I've had a rough couple of days and i'm finally able to even uh, hold my head up straight but that is gorgeous thank you sheila beautiful and this, I know, I really got excited over this. I have to know, look at this. I, I'm not even sure, is it, uh, what is it called, a, a junk journal? I'm not sure exactly. But uh, did you make this? You made the whole uh, junk, the, the journal itself? And I don't know what kind of paper you use, but it's like it's almost like plastic and it's beautiful. You got your little pretty rosettes with your flower. Oh, look at that. Give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Y'all, that's true. I love shoes. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And look at this. It's got little pockets on the inside. And then, then you've got little... Look, look at her. <laughs> is that not cute? I just love it. And in every little pocket, there's little ephemera pieces, little stickers and cutouts. Love. Oh, my gosh. I love this, Sheila. I just love it. And she's got it lined with ribbon in between. It looks like you've cut out uh, two pieces of paper. This one, the inside one, just a little bit smaller. Is that what you did and just scored in the middle? It's what it looks like. But I just love it. And look at this. Uh, memory Dex card cutouts for me so I don't even have to cut them out. Look at that. Wow. It's got each page decorated up. Cultivate kindness, absolutely. Look at that, how pretty. Sheila, thank you. Keep it simple, she says. You're right about that. And I love these. Look at those cute little lips. I don't have anything like that. That is precious. Oh, look at that. Just put the little hearts on there for a little earring. It is so sweet. Gina, I have to make you something with this. You're my girly girl, so you'll, you'll appreciate this. Oh, Trina too, she likes it too. More cutouts, so cute. I just love this idea. This is such a great way to put uh, ephemera in and send to someone. It's just a great idea. I was so excited over this when I saw it. And look at these pretty butterflies. And more cutouts, oh boy. Butterflies, we can always use butterflies. Oh boy, I'm not gonna pull everything out, y'all, because I'm gonna run behind. But look how pretty. Look at these little, I could make into flowers. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to how I was filming it. That is so pretty. These always come in handy. And I don't have to do it myself, so thank you, Sheila. Let's see, I just love this idea. And then look here, we've got a pen, and I love these pens. And some tags, and she's already got them twine on there for me. Oh, look at this. These are acetate tags. Wow, look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can put it so you can see it. These are acetate tags. How cute. That is really cute. I love this. I am definitely using these up. They're so cute, and it's got the little, this one's got the little lips, and this one's got the little eyelashes. Now, I know they're hard to see. And look at these little, oh, and this one says, hello, gorgeous. That is, that is gorgeous. That is so cute. Okay, and then these little bags. Oh, boy. Now, I know you can make these. I'm going to have to figure out how to make these. Sheila, did you make these, or did you buy them like that? They're, I love them. I love this style. That is so cute. Because you can make them, looks like any size you want, and stamp them or do whatever you want with them. That's, I love them. They're really cute. Put little uh, whatever you want in them. Uh, jewels or ephemera or whatever. Whatever. They're so cute. I just love these bags. And then at each one's got, she's got a little pocket in there. And this is such a great way to send uh, happy mail with little, you know, 
little ephemera pieces. You can put anything in there. I just, it's just beautiful. Sheila, thank you so much. And I'm just, I, this paper is just different. I don't know what kind of paper you use. You gotta, you gotta tell me. But I just love this. I, I got so excited when I saw this. Cause it looks like just this, this inside is just cut a little bit smaller than the outside. And you just rounded the corners, but that is so cute. And I love this idea. So, well, I don't want to lose this. Let me put this back. And I love these little coin thingies. They're cute. We just like cute things, don't we? I know I do. I love it. So thank you, Sheila. I really, I really appreciate this. This was so kind of you. And I cherish everything you make for me, y'all. I'm telling you, it, when I get something from Sheila, I'm like, oh boy, this is precious. Um, also, I had made this for a challenge. It's uh, uh, from, uh, what's it, uh, let me think of her name, Positively Papercraft, Anne from Positively Papercraft, and I believe it's called a Lady's Vanity Box, Gift Box, and it's got a, it's reinforced, which I love, I'm going to show you what happens when you don't reinforce it, um, it's a Velcro opening, so you just open it up, and I've got a little uh, silver mirror card in there, mirror, it looked like a mirror, and uh, it's practically seamless, um, there is one spot, this is the paper, because of the, we only can use a 12 by 12, there is, I can see if you can see it, there is a little opening right down there because the paper just would not go all the way down. But as Ann said, she'd rather have 95% of it reinforced than not at all, and I totally agree. Uh, I love this little lip thing here. I'll, I'll do a tutorial showing you how to do that, it's so easy and it just keeps the two boxes. You just make two box bases. And uh, if you didn't have that little lip, they just, they'd flop all over the place. And this way they just line, sit down just like that. And then I just, uh, she had hers a, a, a magnet, but I'm out of magnets. I've got, I have got to make an Amazon order. I'm out of a lot of things. So I thought it came out real cute. And I just wanted to tell y'all, um, I use mirror card for the uh, corner protectors. It just a length thing was like an inch and a half circle and anyway you know how to do that but um, glue gets will get on there and when you use mirror card all you have to do make sure it's dry 100% dry and then take toilet paper or tissue and just rub it just you might have to use your fingernails and just apply a little pressure but you can rub it and every bit of that glue will come right off and it'll be bright and shiny just like it was before I mean I'm doing it right now and it's just it comes right off just make sure it is 100% dry that's uh, real important. Otherwise, it's just going to smear all over the place. But uh, any reinforced box, that's the way you want to go. I'm so upset about this because this is a book box that I made, and it is not reinforced. It's supposed to look like an old beat-up book, which it does. Uh, let me show you. I don't. It's just sickening to me because I love this. But see, see, here's the lip. It's not reinforced. It's just one piece of card. And look how warped it is. It works. Everything works on it. But it, I, I just, I hate it. And I'm not going to send it. I intended to send this in my challenge. But I, no way am I sending this in. I like the, the look of it. I love the whole design. I'm going to try it again. But I, I don't even really know because it's a big box. So we don't have paper big enough to... Uh, double over and reinforce because I really like the design but uh, no way no way it's just totally warped I'm so disappointed in it but it works the box just slides right inside and you see the lip just catches it so the it won't just go flopping all over the place so it's really pretty design but I do not like uh, boxes that are not reinforced I don't know what kind of paper she used it was Sam from mixed up craft it's a book book box i believe she called it and i love the design but uh no i can't do it so that's very disappointing and gina uh some of the letters i'll show you uh, my daughter's birthday is coming up uh very soon so i thought you know what she would love a girly frilly a stuffed envelope so uh i made her a stuffed envelope i'm gonna fill it up 
and I put her name on it using some of your stickers. And this is a, a candy, chocolate candy coin. So I thought that was really cute. Put that in there for it. I'll, I'll figure out what else I'm going to put in there. But I just put some little makeup, resin makeup pieces. Uh, and Trina uh, sent me that little lollipop and all these pretty little roses. The, Trina, it's basically everything on there is from you. Uh, just about everything on there. I had this, but you sent me everything else. Look at that. I love the little dragonfly. And it's got celebrate and birth. Gina, I think you sent me these stickers. So, y'all just keep me supplied. And then on the back, uh, I made a little corner pocket. I'm going to put a gift card in there. Am I showing it? I'm not even paying attention, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, it just says yay. And I'll put a little gift card there for her. And little stickers says celebrate and happy birthday. But I said, you know what? We make every everybody else uh, loaded envelopes to send our little ephemera pieces in. I said, I'm going to make her one because I know she'll like it. And I'll put, I don't know what I'm going to put in exactly, but I'll put some makeup, some thin stuff in there and just fill it up for her. So I thought that was kind of cute. I hope she likes it. I know she will. She likes some girly girl stuff, just like you, Gina. So, uh, oh, one more thing. Okay. Uh, I wanted to put something inside this clutch I made, so I made bows, a bunch of bows. So I thought those were cute. So let's see, I put uh, ribbon, Trina's ribbon, and I put bling in the middle of each one of them. But I, I just think they're so pretty with the ribbon on there. I love that. A little filigree piece there. It's just, I thought they were cute. I thought they were real cute and everybody can use bows. And I put some stickles on that one, just decorated up with a little stickle. Look how tiny that is. And who was it was talking about, oh, 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 uh, Marilyn, Sweetwater Cards. She just got um, the uh, Fisker's Bow Punch and uh, I didn't use it for this. But this is about the size that that Fiskars is going to make. It's a tiny, tiny little bow. It might even be a little bit smaller than that, but it's precious. It's really cute. You can use it on cards. Uh, I love it. I use mine a lot. I like to make bows. So, and I made this one. This, yeah, this is the first time I've ever made a black bow. What do y'all think? I thought, well, shoot, that's a good color. It goes with a lot of different things. So, Carmen, I could make you a black and red and white, and, you know, you could use it for your colors. And there's another black one. I just put some uh, eyelash trim on it. So, that's what I'm filling up this bag with. And um, I think that's it. I just wanted to come in and thank Gina and Sheila so much. I appreciate everything so much. You just have no idea. And... Uh, that's it. Just show you a couple of uh, little projects here. So I hope y'all have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.